Hi guys, so I want to do this video and I'm going to tell y'all why, ladies, this is to my ladies, I'm going to tell y'all why men are dating outside their culture. They dating outside their race. I seen this shit with my own two eyes. Ladies, it's time to make you aware. Some of y'all females ain't shit. I beg your pardon? <clears throat> but wait, there's more. Your sons are a product of your ignorance. Yep. And the reason I'm saying this is because I'm watching this shit with my own two eyes. A lot of y'all females are fucking sorry. Let's just be real. A lot of you women out here are fucking sorry. And the thing is, a lot of these men do want to be in these children's lives, but you have some vindictive, you have a vindictive hate towards him. He don't want to be in this kid's life. You're not liked because you're not likable. You aren't trusted because you're not trustworthy. This black sister perfectly explains why 90% of black men are going overseas. We don't want the negativity. We don't want the stereotypical black woman. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. You won't even let him to take her his kids and guys, I'm seeing this shit with my own two eyes, right? So, I ain't gonna say no names or nothing, but I know somebody that got some sons, right? Her daughters don't stay with her. Put her daughter out when she was 16. Damn. The other daughter stayed with her dad. But she has two of her sons. Those are the last two that are left. And what I'm realizing is, is that she has not built a home for them to live in. She has not did anything like sacrificing to make sure that these boys come up in a decent environment. So what's going on right now is the fact that these boys are seeing what type of woman that she is to the point that they don't want to date women that look like them because she's showing them everything that they don't want in a black woman. She, 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 she. We don't want to deal with the proverbial hood rat that's in a lot of those black exploitation movies from the early 90s and 2000s. Hello? Who the fuck you go to the show with last night? I didn't go to the show last night. What actually happened to the black woman is the modernization and the defeminization of black women. Nowadays, black women would rather be a man than date one. You would rather be a provider instead of be provided for. You would rather make money than to live a soft life. This is the reason why the world laughs at black women, especially modern black women. And it's not, we, and we already know there's women of all groups, of all races that do the exact same thing. However, I can only focus on my own race of people, which are black people. However, modern women, whether black, white, Asian, whoever, are all the same. They all have the same mannerisms. But you want me to believe that black women are happy, that black women are sustained, that black women can live and have a healthy relationship? It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. 
We made this one up. It's a made up tale. Most of y'all wouldn't know a healthy relationship if it was standing right in front of you. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. This is the reason why so many men are going overseas. We're tired. We would rather put up with overseas things than to deal with American women. Modernized, westernized women. Some of you women are the most hateful, battered, bittered women. Some of you women are the most hateful, bitter people that men will ever come across. You will kick a man when he's down. Y'all will make fun of a man. Y'all will tell men that y'all want to make. Y'all want us to make so much money. But then when we make that money, it's still not enough. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. My question to black women is this. When is enough going to be enough? When are you going to realize that being a masculine woman turns away masculine men? When are you going to stop and think, do I want to get married? If yes, what am I doing to get there? What am I doing as a black woman right now to ensure that I will not die alone what am i doing right now am i in therapy am i working on myself am i building myself up am i doing the things that i need to do for a healthy relationship with a man am i healing those parts of myself that are broken and i'm just gonna say it a lot of you ladies need intense trauma therapy got them we fucking got them. <laughs> Y'all don't need regular therapy. Y'all need intense, traumatic therapy. Because y'all have been through a lot of traumatic things, which is understandable. However, it is not understandable that you turn around and traumatize the men that you deal with. Yep. You should be a man's peace, not a pain. You should be a man's nurturer. And all of this stuff that people like to say about make me feel safe, we get it. But a lot of you women don't even know what safety looks like because you've never been in a predicament to where you don't have to do it all. Yep. Learn what it's like to be safe. Learn what it's like to not live life on survival mode. Learn what it's like. I believe that's the issue with black women, is a lot of you are living life right now on survival mode. You're traumatized and you're tired. And instead of healing, you want to hurt people. And hurt people hurt people. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you're going to see me right after this in the next video. And until the next video, peace.